now let's talk about the diagnosis and the symptoms of sorry diagnosis and the treatment of the vibrio cholerae infection so vibrio cholerae infection can be diagnosed by culturing stool sample on a thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar okay and then looks for the growing growth of vibrio cholerae okay so we can do a diagnostic test by growing stool sample on thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar okay so although before the diagnosis as their symptoms are quite distinctive please immediately start the first line of treatment that is the use of rehydration salt either orally or intravenously to replace the lost water and electrolyte that is important and in case of mild to moderate symptoms this rehydration salt which is given orally or intravenously is enough and the diarrhea may resolve on its own within 3 to 7 days but in extreme cases we should use antibiotics and the type of the antibiotic should be dependent on the type of the stool sample okay so we can use tetracycline ciprofloxacin ufloxacin fluoroxacin or trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole as a an antibiotic so that was the diagnosis as well as treatment for vibrio cholerae we can perform the diagnostic test by culturing stool sample in thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar okay and before the test it is recommended to start the rehydration salt treatment either orally or intravenously that will replace the loss of water and electrolyte and in case of mild to moderate cases the supportive therapy is enough but in case of extreme cases we should use antibiotic that include tetracycline ciprofloxacin ufloxacin furazolidone trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole and the type of the antibiotic should be depending on the type of the stool samples okay so that was all about the vibrio cholerae okay so i hope this playlist will be helpful for you to understand the vibrio cholerae video lecture so thank you for listening to this class.